Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Krishna Dupain. In the earlier video, I have solved the first five problem of the QMB part of ISI MSKMA 2016 paper. And in this video, I will solve the last five problem. So let's begin. Question number 6a. You have to solve the equation 2 to the power mod of x plus 2 minus mod of 2 plus 2 to the power x plus 1 minus 1 equal to 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 1 now for x greater than equal to minus 1 this x plus 2 this part is positive so we are writing 2 to the power x plus 2 and from this part we are getting that this is also positive so we are writing 2 to the power x plus 1 minus 1 we are only writing the left hand part which is equal to 2 into 2 to the power x plus 1 we can write 2 to the power x plus 2 in this form 2 into 2 to the power x plus 1 minus 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to right hand side so for all a greater than equal to minus 1 this is true every x greater than equal to minus 1 is the solution of this equation now let's check this for this interval minus 2 to minus 1 for this interval 2 to the power mod of x plus 2 this is positive so we are writing 2 to the power x plus 2 minus for this interval this part mod of 2 to the power x plus 1 minus 1 this is negative so we are writing negative negative positive 2 to the power x plus 1 minus 1 equal to 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 1 if we solve this we will get 2 to the power x plus 2 equal to 2 which implies x plus 2 equal to 1 which is x equal to minus 1 but for x belongs to minus 2 to minus this interval where minus 1 is open x equal to minus 1 so this is impossible so for this interval any x belonging to this interval does not satisfy the given equation now we have to check for the interval where for x which is less than minus 2 for this interval 2 to the power mod x plus 2 this is negative and this part is also negative so we are writing 2 to the power minus x plus 2 plus 2 to the power x plus 1 minus 1 equal to 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 1 which is 2 to the power minus x plus 2 equal to 2 where minus of x plus 2 is equal to 1 where x equal to minus 3 so for any x less than minus 2 this equation gives the solution x equal to minus 3 the solution set of this equation is x equal to minus 3 union minus 1 to infinity this is the answer 6b a spherical iron ball of radius 10 cm coated with a layer of ice of uniform thickness melts at a rate of 100 pi cm cube per minute. Find the rate at which the thickness of the ice decreases when the thickness of ice is 5 cm. So suppose this is the iron ball and the coat of the ice is on this. So this is the radius which is 10 and this is the thickness which is made of ice. If we want to measure the volume of the ice which is v equal to suppose this thickness is x then we are we have to write this 4 by 3 pi thickness the then r cube r means the radius of this total thing which is 10 plus x whole cube minus the radius of this iron ball which is 10 cube here it is given that dv dt that t means time so the rate in which the ice is melting or the volume of this ball is decreasing is 100 centimeter 100 pi centimeter cube by minute so it is dv dt equal to minus 100 pi centimeter cube per minute minus because it is decreasing the volume is decreasing so if we calculate dv dt from this we will get dv dt equal to 4 by 3 pi 3 10 plus x whole square into dx dt dx dt is the rate in which the thickness of the ice is decreasing not decreasing the thickness of the ice is changing 
here it will be negative because it is decreasing so dvdt here is given minus 100 pi equal to 4 by 3 cancel cancel 3 4 pi 10 plus x whole square dx dt so it will be dx dt equal to 25 divided by 10 plus x whole square and it is a negative sign now we have to find the rate when the thickness is of 5 cm so just put 5 here so dx dt at x equal to 5 it's minus 25 by 15 square which is minus 1 by 9 so minus 1 by 9 centimeter per minute is the rate so the rate at which the thickness of the ice is decreasing is 1 by 9 centimeter per minute is the answer 7a for n equal to 1 to 3 dot dot the let a n is a sequence of regular convex polygons with 2 to the power n plus 1 sides and radius 1 then a n b small n be the area of the polygon capital n then we have to express small n in terms of the angle theta made by the line joining any two nearest vertices to the center of n suppose we are drawing the case with the octagon this is a regular octagon this is the center if we join the two nearest vertices to the center this is the angle theta n and how many this kind of triangles can be formed the number of sides will be equal to this number of triangles so a n where number of sides is equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 so for this triangle this side is of length 1 this side is of length 1 now if we have to calculate the area of this triangle suppose this is the height h then the area of this small triangle is half into this side this is 1 into this this is 1 into sin theta n so it is half sin theta n now how many triangles are here they are for 2 to the power n plus 1 number of sides and vertices the number of triangles is equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 so the total area small a n is equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 into the area of this small triangle which is half into sin theta n which is equal to 2 to the power n sin theta n so this is the answer of the first question now we have to find the limit of the sequence is as n tending to infinity so limit n tending to infinity n equal to limit n tending to infinity 2 to the power n sin theta n now just imagine this total angle is 360 degree so that means 2 pi now this as this is a regular convex polygon so this theta n value is same for each triangle how many triangle 2 to the power n plus 1 triangle so each theta n value is equal to 2 pi by 2 to the power n plus 1 which is pi by 2 to the power n just put this value here limit n tending to infinity 2 to the power n sin pi by 2 to the power n now just calculate this value suppose 1 by 2 to the power n equal to x now as n tending to infinity 2 to the power n tending to infinity so 1 by 2 to the power n tending to 0 so x tending to 0 so limit x tending to 0 2 to the power n means 1 by x sin pi x so this is limit x tending to 0 sin pi x divided by pi x into pi so this is 1 so pi is the answer 7b a is a matrix given and b is a 3 cross 3 matrix given where b1 b2 b3 are 3 column matrices then some expressions are given a to the power 15 b1 a to the power 50 b2 a to the power 50 b3 we have to find the value of determinant of b now just calculate the value of a square then you will get it will be identity matrix so a square equal to i that means a to the power 50 this also equal to i so a to the power 50 b1 is equal to this so then we are getting b1 that is also equal to 125 25 so b1 is equal to this others are also same b2 equal to 0 1 0 and b3 equal to 0 0 1 so the matrix b is equal to 1 25 25 0 1 0 0 0 1 and determinant of b 
if you calculate determinant just expand this along the first row then you will get the determinant is 1 so this is the answer 8a using the principle of mathematical induction we have to prove that nc0 plus nc1 plus dot dot ncn this is equal to 2 to the power n for all n belongs to n for n equal to 1 we know that 1c0 plus 1c1 which is equal to 2 and 2 to the power 1 is equal to 2 so this is true for one, for n equal to 1 this is true first suppose n equal to m this is true that means mc0 plus mc1 plus dot dot mcm this is equal to 2 to the power m then we have to prove this for m plus 1 now we know that ncm we can write this as n minus 1 cm minus 1 plus n minus 1 cm you can prove it easily for m plus 1 c0 m plus 1 c1 plus dot dot m plus 1 c m plus 1 now this m plus 1 c0 we can write this as mc0 because both the value is 1 now m plus 1 c1 according to this theorem we can write this as mc0 plus mc1 similarly for m plus 1 c2 we can write this as mc1 mc2 plus dot dot before this term there is a term m plus 1 cm for that we can write mc m minus 1 plus mcm and this m plus 1 cm plus 1 we can write this as mcm because both the values are same so we are getting that 2 into mc0 plus mc1 plus dot dot mcm now this is the value 2 to the power m here so this is 2 to the power m so this is 2 to the power m plus 1 so this is we are getting that m plus 1 c0 plus m plus 1 c1 plus dot dot m plus 1 c m plus 1 is also equal to 2 to the power m plus 1 so by mathematical induction this is true question 9a x into root over 1 plus y plus y into root over 1 plus x equal to 0 we have to show that dy dx equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x whole square you can write this x into root over 1 plus y equal to minus y into root over 1 plus x if we square both the sides we will get x square 1 plus y equal to y square 1 plus x take this y square this side and this side will can get minus x square y plus y square x so this x plus y into x minus y take minus x y common this will be x minus y if we cancel out both x minus y both sides then we get x plus y equal to minus x y take this y this side so it will be 1 plus x so minus x then y equal to minus x by 1 plus x if we just divide this then we divide dx equal to minus for x it will be 1 by 1 plus x and this will be plus x by 1 plus x whole square so this will be 1 plus x whole square minus 1 plus x so this is minus 1 minus x plus x this will be minus 1 divided by 1 plus x whole square 9b we have to evaluate an integral minus 2 to 3 mod of 1 minus x squared dx now for this interval minus 2 to minus 1 this is 1 less than x square less than 4 so minus 4 less than minus x square less than minus 1 so this is minus 3 less than 1 minus x square less than g x will have to minus 2 to minus 1 in this interval 1 minus x square is negative for the interval minus 1 to 0 we are getting 0 x square 1 minus 1 minus x square less than 0 0 1 minus x square less than 1 so this is positive for this interval minus 1 to 0 and for 1 to 3 1 less than x square less than 9 minus 9 minus x square minus 1 it is minus 8 minus 1 minus x square 0 so it is also negative so we are dividing these intervals in three parts which is minus 2 to minus 1 the other one is this will be minus 1 to 1 because for x belongs to 0 to 1 this is also the same case as this so this is there and for the interval 1 to 3 this will be mod 1 minus x square so for the first case this is negative so you get a minus minus 2 to minus 1 1 minus x square dx for this part this is positive 1 minus x square dx and for this part this is also negative so it is 1 to 3 1 minus x square dx if we just do the integration then you will get the final answer as 28 by 3 question number 10a you have to find the value of summation n equal to 0 to infinity 2n plus 3 divided by 3 to the power n so if we write this this will be 3 by 3 to the power 0 plus 5 by 3 to the power 1 
that's 7 by 3 to the power 2 plus dot dot infinity now if we write s by 3 just multiply s and write this 3 by then it will be 3 to the power 1 be below this part so this will be 3 by 3 to the power 1 this will be 5 by 3 to the power 2 plus dot dot infinity just subtract this then it will be 2s by 3 this will be 3 by 3 to the power 0 so it's 3 plus this will be 2 by 3 to the power 1 this will be 2 by 3 to the power 2 and the next part will be 2 by 3 to the power 3 and so on so this 2s by 3 equal to 3 plus this is take to common then it will be infinite gp series whose first term is 1 by 3 and the common ratio is also 1 by 3 so 2s by 3 equal to 3 plus 2 into 1 by 3 into 3 by 2 so this is equal to 4 so s is equal to 6 so c is sum is equal to 6 question number 10 b m is greater than 2 t belongs to r then we have to find the integral part the integer part of this number which is 4 mod t divided by 16 plus t square whole power m now suppose there exists a t belongs to r such that this term 4 mod t by 16 plus t square whole power m this is greater than equal to 1 suppose this is first true then this implies 4 mod t divided by 16 plus t square is greater than equal to 1 as m greater than 2 this we can tell this now this will be 4 mod t greater than equal to 16 plus t take this this side so you t square minus 4 mod t plus 4 plus 12 which is less than equal to 0 which is mod t minus 2 whole square plus 12 is less than equal to 0 this is not possible because this part is always greater than equal to 0 plus 12 is there so this is not possible so obviously for all t belongs to r 4 mod t divided by 16 plus t square whole power m this obviously belongs to belongs in this field in, in this interval 0 to 1 why not negative because this cannot be negative because m is greater than 2 this part is always positive and this was is 4 mod t so this is also positive so this always belongs to in this field 0 to 1 so the integer part the integral part is equal to 0 so i have completed all the questions of this paper qmi 2016 paper in next video will be the cmi 2019 paper so please stay tuned for that share this with friends see you in the next one until then goodbye thank you